welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kelsey. I am a mama of two. Um, my newest baby is currently one month old. And then my second is, uh, she's almost two. It's so crazy. She's gonna be two next month. And um, I am gonna be showing you guys my ride or die baby products. I feel like I'm coming from a little bit more of an experienced place after having my first and figuring out what I needed. And now the second baby, it's just, all come together so first if you haven't subscribed do that down below um, like this video if you enjoyed it and comment if you think i'm totally missing something or if this helped you dwindle your stash down because we all know once you have that baby you start to have baby stuff everywhere <laughs> so um, i have my coffee and um, don't be fooled this is the first time i've worn makeup in i think a week and my hair is um going on day six of not being washed i'm also wearing sweatpants so yeah we're we're here and we're happy but um i want to just put something out there whether you breastfeed formula feed exclusively pump however you feed your baby you are the mama and you're doing an amazing job feeding your baby it's really hard to feed a baby whether you breastfeed or formula feed or exclusively pump it's just hard so i want everyone to know that this is not a slight towards any type of mom. Um, we're all mamas and we're all doing the best that we can. And this is the way that I have been able to feed my babies. And I've learned a couple things along the way. So right now we exclusively breastfeed Shiloh, my newest baby. And um, the, the products that I'm gonna mention are so helpful to a breastfeeding mama. So the first one, I would say, especially right after you have that baby, once your milk comes in, everything is just starting to <laughs> drench through. Like your milk is just really ramping up for that baby to make sure that they're fed and they're, they're happy um, and growing, obviously. So I would say my number one product is the Hakka and the brush shells that they make. They're called ladybugs. When you're feeding your baby for the first time ever, they latch onto one boob. They can't take both at the same time. And your body just doesn't necessarily get that. So it lets milk flow from one side and the other at the same time. So while you're feeding this baby on this side, your milk will also be dripping down on the other side. And I found this out with my first baby. So this second time around, I got a Hakka. It does have a little bit of a suction power but not anything like a pump would it's just gonna suction onto your nipple and won't stimulate anything else other than that first suction so this is gonna catch your letdown and this is a great way to start building up a milk stash if that's your intention or if you just want to have a couple bags of milk for a night out this is a great way to start doing that and be able to have that opportunity without having to pump. So I also have a hand pump that's from Evenflow that I have loved, but most recently I got this pump from Carer and I had a couple pumps with my daughter, um, Riley, for when I first had a baby. I, I, when, I first, when I had my first daughter, I had a couple different pumps, one from Insurance, um, a couple that I was gifted and honestly, I hated pumping. I hate pumps. I'm not a pumping girl. I always was tempted by these wearable, portable, chargeable <laughs> breast pumps and they just fit in your bra, they're discreet. And I was like this close to getting the LV before Kara reached out. And I have to say, I'm really in love with this, this pump. Honestly, it's great for me, if I just haven't fed on the other side and my baby doesn't want the other side, I can release some of that milk and not get a, a, like a clogged duct. Or if I'm just trying not to be lopsided, which is where um, one breast is making more milk than the other and it ends up being bigger, you don't want that. <laughs> so um, this has been just a lifesaver. It's silent, it's very comfortable. I can wear it inside my bra and I don't have to worry about being discreet with a plug into the wall. I have to go into a different room and do the whole shebang. Like I hated that. So this has been really nice. Um, it's obviously got a huge milk catch and it shows you how many um, milliliters you are producing and or have produced, I guess, um, in two different ways. So if you hold it 
like this on the if it just stands on the counter like this it'll tell you or while you're pumping you can see like do i need to pump more do i need to pump less just based on your output um it's got these little options too i'll show you so this is the first option it's gonna um, start stimulating that letdown and if it's going too hard you can lessen the pressure you can lessen the suction or you can increase it and then it has a different mode that's massaging and then the other mode is like a power pump mode so i honestly just it's so like it's pink it's cute and it's just it's just nice it's also going to come with a couple different flanges to fit your nipple size and then the charging cord the one downside it, it doesn't have the outlet portion of the charging cord but it goes along with any usb so i've really enjoyed this pump um, i've got a code down below if you want to use it and get a discount it's also just really affordable even without the discount and that's the craziest part um, most wearable electric pumps like this are so outrageously priced and that's why it took me so long to get one and um i'm just really excited about this one so far so the other thing i would say is in those first couple weeks also at night when you go to sleep even if it's just one or two hours between feedings you're gonna wake up soaked at least i have and i don't know if every mom is like that but personally like it is just a nightmare to wake up and have to change your sheets, have to change your shirt and just be like sticky and gross from milk. So the brush shells can go inside your nursing bra at night and catch all of that letdown that is happening during those first couple of weeks when your milk is trying to regulate. So those have been just so helpful, so amazing. They make a lot of different brush shells that are sold on Amazon and things like that, but they will have a hole that leaks your milk. So I bought those the first time around. The second time I have the ladybugs and there's a little plug so that your milk doesn't spill all over you. There's still a chance to spill in the middle of the night when you're a zombie and not paying attention, but it works out well. Next, I am gonna talk about um, nursing bras. Personally, I have not ever found a like nursing bra that I enjoyed. This second time around, I have been really loving nursing tank tops. And I am seriously so glad that um, I've partnered with Mom Cozy because they make the best nursing bras out there. Like they're comfortable, they are efficient, and they actually like support you and look good. And I think that's been my biggest struggle. Like, there's just not been a nursing bra that I've found that I've liked until this Mom Cozy brand. So those are on Amazon as well, super easy to get. I also have a code down below for those. I've loved them and it's just been nice to finally have a bra that I feel like works, that I'm not just like constantly leaking through. And yeah, I've, I, uh, that's the only nursing bra brand I think I'll ever support just because they have done it right. Um, they also make a nursing tank top, which is awesome for me. I personally like the nursing talk tank top on the go a little bit better, just in case I'm having to lift my shirt and I don't have a nursing friendly top. It's just nice to not have to expose everything in front of everyone. Moving on from there, uh, if you're gonna breastfeed, formula feed, however you're feeding, you probably will need a bottle at one point or another. And personally, we really like the Komotomo bottles. Those have been the most like my breast and the only ones that my kids have taken. So that's my only support for bottles. Like I have really loved those. I've always stuck to them. I don't really try very many other brands just because I know it works and they're easy. Um, a lot of people <laughs> like will sell you on their brand of burp cloth or maybe you'll get sucked into a burp cloth hole where you want it to be cute. Don't go down this rabbit hole. It's just like not worth it because burp cloths will be messy and disgusting no matter how you slice it. And you want your burp cloth to be the most usable, most durable, most absorbent thing that you have in your diaper bag. And for me, I have found that receiving blankets work way better than burp claws. My friend turned me onto this and I never went back. I used it like halfway through for my first baby when she was about two or three months old, very far into her spit up journey. We, um, we will never go back. It just, the spit up is, it's hard. It's a hard stage. And when they start 
eating solids, they still will spit that stuff out. It's just, there's so much spit up, so much puke. But when you have the receiving blanket, it's really large and it's really absorbent. So you can flip that thing around at like four different times before you're gonna have to actually wash it versus a regular burp cloth. You have to wash that thing so quickly. It doesn't, it, you may be able to flip it, but then you've got puke on your shirt and it just like doesn't work. So I do have like cutesy little burp claws, muslin burp claws, um, and I'll link those down below if you're interested in any of those. But yeah, I, I think I have, I have one brand of muslin burp claws that I feel like is a little bit more comparable. They're, they're nice to have on hand and they work okay in terms of burp claws they would probably be the best, but I would still say that a receiving blanket is way better than these as well. So yeah, I have a couple that I've found on Amazon that I like and I'll link those down below. Um, next would be our wake time. So during the awake time, you're, it's gonna slowly increase as your baby increases in age. So right now we're at around a 60 to 90 minute wake window. And this is just something that I go off of based on my baby's age to help me know when their, their next nap is gonna be. During that time, I wanna fill it with things that my baby will enjoy and learn from and be stimulated by so that when nap time comes, she's tired, she's ready for a rest. Her mind has been working, she's full, she's had enough time to digest her milk, so there's not gonna be puke everywhere in the bassinet. Um, so we really like the Love Every Playmat. It's right back there. Um, we use this every single day and it's been awesome to just lay my baby there. My, tod my toddler will go on there and start moving around. It's just, it's such a fun playmat. They, they come with a little booklet that helps you as a mama know what your baby is learning and how to stimulate them more. It comes with different pictures and inserts to make that um, an easy journey for you as well. So you don't have to figure out like what will stimulate my baby at this age. It just tells you. So I love that play mat. We've gotten so much use out of it. The other great thing about it is that it is washable on the base. Um, and you don't necessarily have to have that little arc thing attached. It's Velcroed on. So you can take the play mat anywhere really. Um, next would be diapers. <laughs> you are either gonna cloth diaper or you're gonna do regular diapers. And our family does regular diapers. We do one brand because I love it and I will never go back. I've used Huggies. Um, what are the other ones? I can't even think about. <laughs> We've gone through so many different brands of diapers and I really like the Amazon diapers personally. The brand is called Mama Bear and you can get a subscription. These are also extremely cheap compared to the um, real high-end brand name diapers like Huggies. I don't know any other type of names. Can't remember. Um, the other thing I like to use is the Ox, the Oxo or OXO wipe dispenser. It keeps your wipes moist. And so far it has been toddler proof. So I don't have my toddler just like pulling wipes out every single day. And you can see how full the thing is because it has a little window, which is really nice. Moving on from there, we have our sleep section, the most important for a lot of mamas and daddies want to sleep. And yeah, it's it's a journey for sure. You either are gonna never sleep again or you might have a baby that sleeps through the night right away. But personally, these are the things that we use for sleep to try to curate a good sleep experience, a long sleep experience. And yeah, for us, we have always gone with a simple bassinet. I've heard so many people say that the snoo is not worth it. Um, or the halo bassinet is not worth it. So I actually have my baby sleep in the bassinet that I slept in. It's just a very old vintage, like cradle bassinet that rocks back and forth. We've always gone with a simple bassinet and then moved them to their crib at some point. And I just don't see the value in spending a ton of money on a bassinet when you're gonna move them to a crib eventually anyways. And also a lot of those like super expensive bassinets have a component that you might have to wean your baby off of at some point. So once they don't fit in the halo or the snoo or whatever, and it's been shaking them and rocking them, you're gonna have to do that when you move them to the crib because that's the way that they've learned how to sleep. So for me, I've found it to just be easier for us to learn good sleep habits in the beginning and move from there into the crib so that they know how to like put themselves back to sleep. Um, we love swaddling our babies. For us, 
all the pretty cutesy swaddles are awesome for the beginning and I still have some. I think it's cute when you take the pictures, but we do not use these for sleep. Maybe during the day we'll wrap up our cute baby when people come over to see them, but it is not feasible for us to have these be the swaddles that we use at night. Um, our babies really like to be like snuggled in and just kept cozy the whole night. So we've really, really loved the Embre sleep sack, swaddle sleep sack and the sleep pee sleep sack that actually goes with the snoo. Um, that sleep sack is awesome. It like keeps your baby in so snug and just makes them feel like they're being hugged all night long. So you might find yourself getting a couple hours more rest a night if you swaddle your baby tight. You might not. It's just however you wanna do it, mama, it's all you. But these are what worked for us. Um, I really don't recommend the Swaddle Me brand. It's just not been our favorite. We got a lot of hand-me-downs that were Swaddle Me. And it just, our babies get out of those so easy. Even though they're Velcro, it hasn't worked for us. Um, the next thing I would say that promotes good sleep is a sound machine. And we've always used the Dream Egg brand. They have a really nice portable sound machine that goes in the car. And even if you're not trying to get a nap in the car for your baby, it's still just really nice to have that thing on um, in case you wanna turn on like little Tweety Bird sounds or even just white noise to try to relax your baby while they're in the car. We have hit or miss happy car experiences. Some days it will be really enjoyable, other days not. Some days the baby will sleep, some days the baby will cry. And yeah, I think this portable sound machine just gives us more opportunities to have happy experiences. Or in terms of sleep, um, I like to use pacifiers for my babies to promote longer sleep as well. That's a hot button issue, but for me as a mama, I have introduced the pacifier right around one month for each of my babies. And we just introduced it for Shiloh. We really like Evenflow pacifiers and Bibs pacifiers. Um, those are the two brands that have worked for us. I love that the Bibs pacifiers are really lightweight and are natural rubber. That's a great thing too, but for the even flow pacifiers, it has the option to stick your finger in so that your baby can really find that sock onto the pacifier. Um, it's harder to get my baby to take the bibs pacifier right away. I really have to work it in her mouth before she starts to suck on it. The even flow, it's pretty, it's pretty natural right away. So I recommend those two brands. And then in terms of survival and just your everyday life, especially if you have another child or multiple other children, you have to really think about how you're gonna manage both at the same time. And it's been amazing to baby wear. And I did this with my first baby for the closeness and just the cuteness of baby wearing. I have a wild bird sling, I had a Solly baby wrap, and then some of the Ergo baby carriers. The Ergos are for bigger babies. So I haven't been able to use those with Shiloh, but this time around I have used the Connie baby wrap and I, this is not sponsored at all for them, but they have the absolute best baby wrap out there. I used to have pain in my shoulders and my neck from the Solly baby. And this baby wrap is like, it's just magic. It's, it's not something that you're having to like tie 18 different ways to get right it just automatically like goes on it has a square in your back that needs to be in the middle and once you have it in the middle you can put your baby in right away and get them nice and cozy and tucked in you don't have all this different material hanging on the ground in puddles or like i swear it's just amazing and i will never go back they also make a mesh material baby wrap that makes it wearable in the pool or on really hot days you just have a more breathable experience so your baby isn't sweating through that and just a better baby wearing experience. I can't recommend them enough. Um, my last product is a baby monitor. The next thing I wanna talk about is the Miss Fong Fawn Design Dupe Bag that is sold on Amazon. There's my Connie baby wrap. And guys, this bag has so much space. And the thing that I really love about this bag over a backpack type diaper bag is that the middle is open so when you're opening your bag you're not having to like shift through the middle area of the backpack to get what you need you just have it right there in front of you it has a huge little circular opening and that for me just works better i have a potty trained 
toddler and we can literally fit her potty seat inside the middle of the cyber bag it's just it's huge without looking insanely large on your back or on your shoulder and it has four or five pockets in there two of them are insulated it's got a zip-up pocket that's smaller and then a larger zip-up pocket and then you can see all these outside pockets with the zippers it's just it's got everything in my opinion it has the backpack option and then this little hideaway pocket that's inside the diaper bag but you can stuff stuff in there that you want to be accessible outside of the bag if that makes sense and then it has that final outside pocket and then a changing mat in the back it's got the backpack option and then an over the shoulder strap option the stroller clip-ons it's got everything and i love that i can attach my keys to it I mean, I just, I'm so sold on this diaper bag and it is like a third of the cost of the fawn design. So moving on from there. Most of you mamas will want to be able to see your baby on a screen that shows if they're awake, if they're asleep, if they're stirring. Once you have that baby, your anxiety for seeing them and knowing that they're okay, it just kind of is like ever increasing. From the first night on, you just, you have this love for that baby that will never go away and you wanna make sure that they're safe. You wanna make sure that they're not crying or choking or even just playing without you. I don't know how they did sound monitors back in the day, but since they've done these baby monitors, like I just think they're worth it. So for us and for you, if you're thinking about having one or two or three or four kids, you need a baby monitor that has a split screen. Like I can't, I can't say enough good things about this. Like I have two babies on here that I can see and it will show me both of them at the same time. Like this is awesome. So I have the Motorola, um, I don't even know which kind it is, duo monitor or something. I'll link it down below, but um, this has been a great baby monitor for us. It lets you, it has the two way talking, which is really nice if you wanna try and calm your baby through the voice. Our youngest daughter sleeps in our room in the bassinet. It's just nicer to have that camera plugged in in case I wanna come downstairs and clean or watch a show or whatever the case may be. Um, I can just have this set on her. Eventually we'll move it into her room when she moves into her room and she takes naps in her crib. And then for my toddler, um, the two-way talking is honestly so nice because if she's woken up too early, I can kind of encourage her like, hey, it's still nap time through the two-way talking. And yeah, it's just awesome. This has a ton of features on it. I highly recommend it. Along with the Love Every Play Mat, I love the idea of a swing, but a swing is enormous in your house, especially if you just don't have a huge house. <laughs> like we don't have a huge house. So I didn't want to do a swing <laughs> this time. We had one for my first daughter and it was just huge. Like we ended up taking it to my in-laws so that she could be in the swing there. And they've really just kept it there this entire time. We didn't take it back for the second baby. We got a cute little rocker and um, it's been nice for us to just have if we want to take her outside into the backyard or just kind of hang out. Like she loves sitting in this little rocker. It, imitates a bouncer as well it doesn't have the bouncing motion but I just I, I think if I'm gonna have a baby product I want it to work and I would love love if it's aesthetically pleasing and this one is <laughs> like it's not a make or break thing for it to look cute but the fact that it does is just it makes it that much better for me all right guys that's it that's all of my baby products I'm gonna finish my coffee and I will see you guys all in the next video